Welcome to the Hundred Dollar MBA Show, and today is a Q and A weekend episode where we answer your question right here on the show. I'm your host, your coach, your teacher, Omar Zenholm. I'm also the co-founder of the Hundred Dollar MBA, a complete business training and community online. Guys, if you want to ask a question on Q and A weekends, just email us at contact at one hundred MBA dot net. Or you can use our speak it option where you record your question with your voice and we play it right here on the show. Check that out on our show page at 100mba.net slash show. Today's question comes from Steve and Steve asks, do you have a morning ritual to start your day to get you focused? Thanks for the question, Steve. I'll be answering it. So let's get down to business. This episode of the $100 MBA show is sponsored by NADX. Binary Options Trading. You're a smart listener. You know the value of $100, and so does Natix. For just $100, you can get started. With Natix Binary Options, you trade on whether you think the market will be above or below a certain point by a certain time. Go to Natix.com and open up a free account. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Futures, options, and swaps trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. So Steve asks, do you have a morning ritual to start your day? To get you focused, good question. Uh, I don't have an actual ritual, but I have a routine. There's nothing that I actually do in terms of you know getting into the zone. Nicole and I, after having breakfast, we usually have a 15 to 20 minute meeting where we sit down and we talk about the must dos of today. What are the things we need to accomplish? Usually, just a quick conversation. Uh, sometimes it's even five minutes because we kind of know what we all have to do. We have our goals set for the month and for the week. And we go over to the whiteboard and kind of just jot down some things that we need to do for today. But one of the things that Nicole has really helped me with or really has gotten me used to that really helps in terms of your stress level and just starting your day is having a period of time when you first get in the morning where you don't consume any email, you don't check your email, you do any of that stuff because that gets you sucked into the world of time consumption. Uh, email is important, but you should dedicate a dedicated time for that task for checking emails and replying to. There's no reason to check an email if you don't have time to reply to them. So I would have a dedicated time sometime in the afternoon maybe where you have gotten the most important things done first and then get the email done later on. So having that clear slate in the beginning is really good to have a fresh mind. Don't check email. Have breakfast. Have that first initial meeting. And usually it's great to do your best work or the things that are most important first, the things that require your creative energy and usually that's producing content or producing anything, creating something. Use your fresh, well-rested brain in the morning to do that. And that's really been effective by just focusing on whether it's recording a podcast or working on a blog post or you know designing a new page on the website or whatever it is. Those things require a certain amount of you know cognitive power and you want to use your best energy and your most creative time which is in the morning because you've just been resting for you know eight plus hours and it's good to go. I really think that's a really good way to start your day. And then move on to the email maybe in the afternoon where you can go and read your email one by one and reply to them. Often we waste a lot of time by having our email open constantly and it interrupts us. I really think you shouldn't do that because you want to stay focused on the task at hand. So that's really what my ritual is, is nothing really uh, too fancy, too elaborate. Uh, again, I talk about focus a lot. Being focused on your task for the day or for the week is very, very important. And distractions can can really take you away from that. So it's good to have a routine that you know enforces focus. Where you just up to, you know in the morning, I'm going to work on this task, which is about creating content. I'm going to dedicate three hours to doing that, and then I'll move on to doing the other tasks I have to do, whether it's social media or email or things like that. But I personally like to get done the most important stuff first, so it's out of the way. It's taken care of, and then later on in the day, I can do some of the busy work. But in terms of a ritual, like do I listen to a song or get pumped up for something or get into a zone? Uh, not really. Uh, I, I don't. Um, you know, I like to wake up slowly. It takes me a while to wake up. Like uh, I'm kind of like groggy in the morning, not because I'm tired or anything, but it just takes me a while to kind of be 100%. So I like to have breakfast and have my coffee and then jump into work. Well, Steve, I hope that answers your question. I hope those tips help out. Guys, if you have a question you want answered on the show, just email us at contact at 100mba.net or you can ask your question using our speak it option, record your question, and we'll play it right here on the show so you can have a cameo appearance. Just use our speak it option on the show page. That's 100mba.net slash show. 
Guys, I want to leave you with this. I know a lot of people become entrepreneurs so they can be flexible, so they can have a, a lifestyle, like they say, a lifestyle business. Uh, but at the end of the day, you have to get things done. You have to produce work. You have to produce content in order for you to have a business on your hands. Uh, and you're going to have to have some sort of routine in your life. And routine is not always bad. And it can be on your terms. You can do the things you want to do at the times you want to do it. You can you know, take a break at noon and go shopping uh, for your groceries when everybody's at work so you can save time and not go in the evening. You can take a full day off in the middle of the week and go to the beach. That's really what's great about being you know, an entrepreneur. You have a flexible schedule, but you need to have a schedule where you get things done and you have a routine, and that really helps you stay focused. So that's something I learned the hard way in the beginning. You know, you have to have some sort of routine, some sort of schedule. Uh, you can make it your own, but having a schedule can really help you stay focused and get your tasks done, and get your work done so you can have a functional business. All right, guys, I'll check you in the next episode. Take care.